everything you have. When Pastor called and said, uh, that was last year, December, I was going to go to Trinidad. Uh, towards the end, it was it December 20th or something. He said, uh, Pastor William, we want, the church wants you to come and do the first program of the year. And he kept on repeating one word. He says, he said it again, he says, we take it seriously, the first program of the year. He told me again, he said, Pastor William, Apostle William, we take it seriously, the first program of the year. Then the church wants you to come and do it. I said, praise God. I said, I'm honored. I said, I'm excited. I said, well, I, God is going to do something great. Amen. Amen. And the Lord told me he's going to do something great. Amen. Amen. So I said, what the team? He said, building a foundation, raising up. I said, oh my God. Where did we go and get this kind of title from? Because that just made me begin to search the scriptures. Began to pray, set the scriptures. And God began to show certain things in my own life, not your life now, my own life, that I said, I said, oh my God, look at that. I began to search my own spiritual work with God and said, my God, look at that. Do you know without foundation, your worship is impure? Mm -hmm. Let me say it again. Without foundation, you cannot raise altars. And without altars, God cannot intervene in anything on the earth concerning you. Oh, get ready this weekend. Don't miss any of the services because we're going to take it progressively. Amen. Because there's so much revelation and anointing, there's no way you can sit one night and take it. It's a lie. I mean, I, I can't even digest everything that God has given to me. So tonight, we're going to take it gradually. Tomorrow night, we're going to go deeper. Sunday money, there's something we're going to go all out. Until you know how to raise altars and make your altars speak for you. Amen. Nothing happens with you there. Everything you have is grace. Amen? Amen. It's still grace. But there's a level you come with the Lord that God began to ask for a sacrifice. For an altar, there has to be a sacrifice. It's okay. There has to be a sacrifice. So we talk about what is an altar? What does an altar mean? What is an altar? Why is this place so significant? You call it podium, but to God it's an altar. A friend of ours was building a church in Dallas, a redeemed church by the airport. And when the church was being built, they didn't finish the church there. That was in the early last year. I got a call. I was in this with the church with a pastor friend of mine, with his wife. We're just inspecting the building and just thanking God. And the call came from Houston. And uh, a sister, one of my partners, prayed up and said, My husband just had a stroke. He's about to die. The doctor said he's done with. He's going to be a vegetable. I quickly ran to the altar. That completed altar with smell and then I began to cry, pray. I cry, I called the pastor, I said, come, come to the altar. Come and pray me for this guy. He should not die. You know that guy is well, it's normal. Yeah. <laughs> when I come to certain situations that I've done everything I can do and it's not working, I look for an altar. And I crown that altar, sow seeds on that altar. It has never failed me up to today. Amen. God is a mystery. I hope you know you don't know him all. I hope you, you know we still learn, I'm still learning your statement. I hope you understand that. Because that will help you in understanding building foundations and raising altars. All right. Foundation and altars goes together. What is foundation? When we talk about building foundation, what are we saying? Oh, building foundation. Your life thus far, your life today thus far is built on something. The way you talk, the way you relate, the way you behave, the way you communicate, 
The way you address and you are readdressed is based on the foundation that you lived on. Your perspective of God and what God can do and what God cannot do is all tied to the simple fact of the foundation knowledge of the foundation you are standing upon. So the Bible says the people that know their God will do expert. It means the people that have the right foundation with God, they are the only ones capable of doing expert. When we talk about foundation, we're talking about the thing that your life is riding upon now. There are all kinds of foundation. We'll talk about that tonight. All right, go to the book of Psalm. Hallelujah, somebody. Because there will be a time we'll be praying today that you will have to pray with all your strength. Because there are certain things that just say, Father, thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, will not do. I hear it, somebody. God, there are certain foundational issues in your life. That whenever you come to a certain level of growth, it comes out. And you see yourself, you are dealing with issues that you never thought were around you. Is somebody, is what I'm saying? Yes, sir. No, no, are you hearing me? Are you hearing me tonight? Yes, there are certain issues that don't show up until you are having certain breakthroughs. No, 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 you, you need to hear this. There are certain things right now you cannot bring them into your life. There are problems and challenges that will not show up now. No, 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 you know. When you begin to get certain level of sources, from nowhere they begin to surface. Because they may underneath your foundation for as long as you're not breaking through, you're not an harassment there. But the minute you begin to become established, they begin to stretch their own and say, no, 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 this cannot be. And they said, you deal with these issues now, while they are not yet manifested, you can move ahead. Once they begin to manifest, they slow you down and you cannot move ahead. Psalm 11, verse 3. It says, If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? If the foundations are being destroyed, what can I do? What can you do? So it means that there are certain powers that are capable of destroying foundations. Somebody hear it? Yes, sir. Are you with me? Yes. Or else you would say if the foundations have been destroyed, what can the righteous do? Now I'm going to talk about all kinds of foundations. Go to the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 9. 